After implementing the same functionality in a lot of projects, I've decided to make a video about that. This video will help you to build multi-out boilerplate Laravel app for versions 5.6, 5.7, 5.8. In the end you will have an app which will have user and admin web authentications functionality. Behind the scenes the clients, I mean users and admins, data will be stored in different tables. So users and admins can access their contents from different URIs, I mean different addresses for sign in, sign out, sign up. I already watched the videos and read many other articles about this, but every time something was missed or I had to add or change something for myself, this video will have three parts so i will put necessary links in the description i hope that this can be useful for beginners which will read and understand how to build or for experienced developers which will use written code blocks for their projects so let's get started for first make sure you have php at least 7.1 version git and composer installed in your machine also i hope you can run your app via virtualhost homestead with artisan serve wallet or something like that let's download the latest laravel version at current time via composer open the laravel official documentation copy the command and run at the end we will add you our pro uh, project folder name called laravel multi out until this command running we can configure our database this is our empty database as you can see laravel was downloaded we can cd to our project run composer install to make sure that all dependencies in there. Now I will open our project with PHP Storm. Now this is an optional step but you can install this additional package created by me which will help you on development process. You can run the php artisan clear caches command every time when you want to be sure that you have cleared all your app caches. And also you can use the php artisan drop tables command for make your dbs empty. Let's clear all app caches. Set up your host. This step you need to do for yourself. I hope you will do this. For me, I just have run it Laravel multi -out .local host for testing. Make sure that app working normally as it should. Let's create our default authentication system provided by Laravel using PHP Artisan Make Out. Now just run your migrations for having DB tables, especially users table, via the command PHP Artisan Migrate. You can check that your site now have some ready stuff for authentication system, login, logout, register, etc. After this you'll get some new stuff, new controllers, routes web PHP, the in this line, and new blade views. Create models directory in the app directory and let's store all our models in there, including existing user model. We must to change all usages of user model in wall app.
In user model, we will add not required property tables. Now let's move all user specific controllers to new user folder. We will rename home controller to user controller. Correct all namespaces in replaced controllers. But all this means that we must change our default routes generated by make out command in routes web.php. I'm about this out routes, which we can replace with appropriate collection of routes. So we'll have this. Keep in mind that we have added this prefix before all controllers in each route. Later we will remove that and we will use that from route service provider. Give an alias to this main route. Don't forget to replace route login and route register href links in app.blade.php and welcome.blade.php to route login underscore page and route re register underscore page appropriately. Now make sure that we have working state. We got an error regarding with config caches. Let's clear the caches. Also, don't forget to import controller in user controller. Make sure that you have working state. Now let's move our user specific blades into a new user folder. Find all at extends layouts dot app matches in path resources views user and replace that with at extends user layouts app. Also, this means that we must to change all views paths returned from controllers by default. Laravel have built-in traits for old controllers. From there, we'll grab appropriate public methods, which returns to their view blades, and will override view paths. Now, as you can see, all is working normally as it should.